Uh, any more information on Jackrabbit? Uh, he moved around a little bit on the field today. He was limited. Coach, you made, you, made, uh, you mentioned last week that for the short week on Thursday, you guys are going to make a few adjustments to the practice schedule. How do you think your team has responded so far? I think we uh, did a nice job yesterday coming out and getting after things mentally. Uh, moved around a little bit more today, put the helmets on, uh, moved quick enough to get our jobs done on and off the field. Is Jenkins going to be able to go? Uh, we'll see. It's still early to tell. Is he still really sore or is some of that alleviated? Uh, there's still soreness. Yeah, he's still sore. You'll do a usual launch tomorrow? Uh, no, tomorrow will be different. It'll be a combination uh, fresh Friday and travel day. What would you do today exactly? I mean, is it just was it mostly mental? Uh, no, today was a, a situational football day, uh, but we got on, on and off the field a lot quicker than we usually do. It was about an hour and a half. We saw Janoris and John, Jonathan wearing ski hats. They actually got out and, and did some stuff? They were moving around a little bit, yes. Washington losing yesterday makes you guys a virtual lock to make the playoffs. How, how, how does that make you feel? Uh, you know, it's a short week. Uh, yesterday was a good mental day. We moved around a little bit today. Um, have to take care of our bodies this afternoon, uh, get, our, get our rest tonight, sleep in tomorrow, be ready to, to get our work done and travel, and uh, be ready for Thursday night. Making a, the playoffs is a, it's a goal and an accomplishment and part of what you're trying to accomplish here. Why do you not want to uh, sort of acknowledge that? It doesn't have anything to do with the game on Thursday night. We have to be ready to play a game on a short week Thursday night against a, a division rival. Is it is it that you think I, um, I don't want to put your words in your mouth, but is it that you, you don't want the, the playoffs to be I don't know, the end goal? Like you're, you're thinking that it's just a step or why? Yeah, I guess. No, it just, uh, you know, it's just something to talk about. It's a distraction uh, if you let it be. Uh, you know, we need to be focused on, on, the, on the game on Thursday night. I'm getting ready to play Philadelphia. That's that's what this week's all about. Do you consider it an accomplishment to make the playoffs, or does that not even register for you? This other no, things? it doesn't register at this point. No. Coach BJ Goodson has played a few more defensive snaps than usual on Sunday. Do you think he'll uh, see more playing, see his playing time increase on defense as the season goes on? Uh, we liked the way he moved around. He was physical, uh, played heavy-handed. It was encouraging to see. Are you going to add a quarterback now that Ryan's on IR? Are you guys stick with uh, it's a short week at this point. Uh, not not this week, uh, but never say never. What, what happened there? His uh, elbow, his arm flared up, his elbow flared up again. And, uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate. Is that something like he's had dealt with? Because it just kind of cropped up midway through the year. So I'm just like, what was the... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it was sore. It was bothering him. And uh, flared up again this week. So Is it surgery? something... Does he need surgery on the elbow? Yeah, he'll have surgery by the end of the week. He and Shane will both have uh, surgery at the end of the week. Coach, taking a look at the Eagles, what's the biggest difference you can tell from watching the game film between the <clears> Eagles <throat> team you saw here and the Eagles team you're going to play in a couple days? Well, the, uh, the Eagles team, uh, they're getting healthy up front on the offensive line. Uh, that's something that they definitely have going for them. Their defensive line's playing well. Uh, so it'll be a challenge for us on both lines of scrimmage. Uh, they're playing well there. Um, you know the, the skill make uh, the skill players on offense. They have some guys that can make some plays. It looks like Sproles is going to get back, um, and, and that makes them a challenge to prepare for that way. Uh, their linebackers are playing physical and they're playing downhill, fitting off the D line well. So we'll have plenty of challenges there. Any feeling that Shane rushed back? Um, no. Are you aware if it? I mean, is this something that's supposed to be? Is he more more vulnerable after returning from that kind of injury and having that surgery to, to, for this to reoccur? Is something you're aware you know, I'm not a doctor. We, I just know that he was cleared to play and uh, he was excited to play. He worked hard to get back. I'm um, disappointed for Shane. Um, you know, he's a good boost for our team, but uh, we wish him the best and uh, he'll get healthy. Ben, why is this defense so good at whether it's sudden change, whether it's the last few minutes of the fourth <clears throat> quarter, or whether it's whatever the case might be, your defense, losing key players, your defense seems to respond. Why? Uh, you know, I think uh, we have good, you know, good defense fits together like nuts and bolts. Uh, I've said it before, and I, and I believe it. Uh, I think we have uh, talented players um, who believe in doing their job and their job only. Um, they're talented men of integrity. Um, they're not looking, they're not chasing stats out there. They're just looking to play good defense and get off the field. Do you, um, um, when you look at the Eagles, you know, you studied them for a short week, do you put any um, 
thing behind it, the notion that a team would want to be a spoiler. They're a division rival, but a team that want to prevent you from clinching something on their turf. The last thing you want to do is lose to a division rival. The last thing, especially at home. So we're going to get their best shot. You can throw the records out the window. Um, it's going to be a physical game. Probably come down to the end like they all do. And uh, it'll be exciting. I think when you, you know, when, back when you got hired, I think people were um, curious or wondered why you might have kept Steve Spagnolo given how, how much they struggled on defense. Is this the performance? I mean, is that everything you imagine from him? And does that justify that choice? Uh, you know, I, I'll go back to 2007, uh, the way the defense improved in 2007. We played them early in the season um, when I was in Green Bay. Then seeing them at the end of the year was, uh, you know, it, tremendous coaching job. They improved tremendously. And, uh, you know, our defense has taken steps this year, um, not only from year one to year two under Spags, but this year. And uh, they keep improving. How much does it help you to come in and have a guy like him who's, you know, obviously done this for a long time, been very experienced? Yeah, he's a, he's a great resource. You came from a place where Green Bay, where they built so strongly through the draft. Uh, you built your defense, or at least aided your defense, with a lot of free agents. How surprised are you able to you've been able to do that and been able to do it so quickly in that way? I think you know uh, we've been fortunate. Uh, you, when you look at it, uh, when you go out through free agency, you're really not sure what you're getting uh, character-wise until they're in the building. Um, you have coaches and players that you lean on and you talk to throughout the league who have uh, worked with guys, but uh, until you get them in a room, um, you're not sure what you get. And we got New York Giant character types, and that's the biggest key to everything. Dan, are you concerned that you're going to be personally fined for the walkie-talkie thing? There's a report that it'll come out today. Uh, I haven't heard. Uh, I haven't heard anything back from the league yet. I was on the field in, in meetings all morning, so I have nothing to report. What, what do you think? What, sorry. What, what do you think would be fair? What do I think would be fair? Fair uh, punishment for the walking talkies. Haven't thought about it. Coach, it's a bit of a different look for you guys this week on the field. What's your thoughts on the color rush jerseys? Uh, the color rush jerseys. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for the fans, so we'll just leave it, <laughs> leave it at that. One more. I, th I think the equipment guys have done one heck of a job. They've worked their tail off this week. Is Jack Rabbit's injury such that you would treat him like any injured player? If he's ready to go, he would go? Or is there, because of the initial concern, is there a reason that you would be cautious and not play him this week? Uh, he's a veteran player who's played a lot of football, so he'll have some input in it, but it's ultimately a medical decision.